Yo, yo. Probably still too windy to film out here, but it's the least windy day we've had out in a while. I figured give it a shot. I wanted to talk about vitamin A today. Yes, you need some vitamin A. Yes, I do believe it's an essential nutrient, especially for your eyes. And I wanted to talk about why. First, I want to orient anybody who's not familiar with what's going on in the deep recesses of the internet when it comes to discussions of vitamin A. Um, you know, it's a legit thing in terms of real medical science. There's a, you know, professor at, I believe, LSU, who's done a ton of work talking about and exposing a lot of the negative actions that vitamin A has in the body, especially in excess. And, oh, a little less than, a little under 10 years ago, uh, a Canadian geologist named Grant Genru came out with a couple of free books talking about his sort of miracle healing from all these different health problems, eczema being one of the biggest, but there were some neurological stuff that he was dealing with and some other things, uh, kidney disease maybe, something like that. And he was overweight, there were other issues, but long story short, he was able to overcome those issues because he determined that all the foods that he was sensitive to were high in vitamin A, and that was the one commonality that they they shared. And so he took a deep dive on vitamin A and decided to do an experiment on himself, eating no vitamin A whatsoever. Um, just eating beef, rice, a little bit of black beans, did some bread for a while. Now I think he's eating an apple a day, he says, which probably has 60, 70, 80 IU, something like that. The recommended daily allowance of vitamin A is 3,000 IUs per day to give you a little bit of a reference, but 2018, um, you know, I started going really low in vitamin A, which I was able to do for usually about a week at a time. And then I would have cravings for foods that contain vitamin A. And uh, so I would eat, you know, kind of whatever I wanted once a week. And I figure my vitamin A intake was probably normal on that one day, like 3,000 IUs. And the rest of the week put together, I was probably under 100 IUs, so call it 3,500 IUs a week, which is, what is that? 700 a day, something like that, um, max, you know? So I'm averaging like 700 IUs a day, which is way below the recommended daily allowance for, uh, Sorry, I got my math off. That's 50, 500 a day, excuse me. I didn't think that sounded right. 500 a day, which is one sixth of the recommended daily allowance. And I did that consistently for six years. And then I decided to tighten it up. One of the things that helped me with was pet allergies and we acquired a dog. And I was allergic to the dog. Anytime I ate anything with vitamin A, my skin would erupt, get really itchy. And so I was like, um, I'm gonna go strict with it. And exactly a year ago, almost, uh, the last big vitamin A meal I had was Thanksgiving last year. And I've been at about 30 to 40 IUs roughly per day. So I cut my intake down by a further 90% for a whole year after doing a little over six years um, at about, you know, 15% of the RDA or something like that. So I'm thinking, hey, maybe this narrative that vitamin A isn't really an essential, essential nutrient, maybe that's valid. Chat GPT certainly doesn't think so. <laughs> the mainstream medical establishment certainly doesn't think so. The nutrition community doesn't think so. This, this idea is written off as patently absurd by almost everyone. And, uh, but Grant Jenneru, you know, really stuck to the idea that maybe it's not essential. And then you have all these people on a carnivore diet. Some eat vitamin A by eating liver, egg yolks. Some even eat some dairy, butter, stuff like that. But a large people who advocate for a carnivore diet just want to recommend eating just beef and just commercial grain fed beef at that. Um, especially, I've seen a lot of long-term adherents to the diet um, who've overcome 
autoimmune type of issues. And that was the basic premise of Grant Jenneru's work is that vitamin A excess is the cause of autoimmune disease. Um, they don't eat liver. They don't eat eggs, right? They really, and they don't even eat grass-fed beef because grass-fed beef contains some vitamin A, whereas grain-fed beef has, you know, no more than a trace. So anyway, um, these people, a lot of them appear, they're not going blind. They're not losing their eyesight. They're not losing their night vision capabilities. Grant's been doing this for over 10 years, extremely low. He said he dealt with some night vision problems briefly, but then cleared it up and then kind of blamed the night vision issues on something else. My issue started with my eyesight last summer. Last summer I was camping out, no sunglasses. I haven't worn sunglasses in forever, like 20 years. And um, I'm out all day, bright sunny day, just like this, 16 hours of sunlight, like in June, close to the, the peak amount of solar light coming in in the Northern Hemisphere at that time. And at night, I couldn't see shit. You know, I couldn't see anything. And I was freaked out, you know, I couldn't see stars. I was like, I'm never gonna see stars again. You know, this is, I've somehow lost my night vision. Well, after I got done doing all this camping uh, and hiking and stuff like that, which I did for months, uh, and I spent some time indoors, that night vision came back. And I discovered that it was just like I was having night blindness, kind of like snow blindness, which is a well-known phenomenon of when you're out in bright light all day, um, you know, in the evening. Oh, nice. Let's get that on camera. Um, in the evening, at night, you can uh, have trouble seeing in the dark, um, you know, complete night blindness. So that's what I was having. It was like a snow blindness, but I was very sensitive to it. And over the last year, as I've eaten less and less vitamin A consistently with no cheats whatsoever, um, it's gotten worse. That's why I wear these grandpa glasses, right? I had, I had some sunglasses. I was still having the issue going out on long hikes, four, five, six hours in bright light, even with a hat and sunglasses, it wasn't doing it. So this have, these have enhanced UV protection. Um, and I still was having the issue, especially in the left eye. I don't know why one eye is worse than the other, but you know, it was a significant difference. And so, uh, you know, that caught my attention and I'm like, well, you know, this seems like I'm having some night, some night vision issues, which are to be expected if you finally get to a state where you're truly depleted in vitamin A. Now you should be able to go for a long time. You know, there's something like typical human liver probably has close to a million IUs of vitamin A. There's a lot of IUs of vitamin A in body fat which I've got plenty of, but um, yeah, I started to uh, have the severe issues and my plan was to try to get my blood level to near zero and kind of see what happens, right? Well, I, I got to see what happens. I can't see in the <laughs> night. And then I developed a secondary symptom of vitamin A deficiency was my eyes started getting really dry. So I was waking up in the middle of the night feeling like my eyes were like desiccated, like like air, like really sticky when I blink. And, and that's where you start to run the risk of having some like actual vision, permanent vision damage from being in vitamin, vitamin A deficiency. And so I never bought the idea that vitamin A was not a nutrient. Um, I'm very comfortable with the idea that something can be toxic in excess and toxic uh, when it's not in excess, when there's a drought of it, when there's a shortage. You know, something like water is a great case in point. You can die from dehydration, you can die from overhydration from a completely benign substance. You know, anything can turn toxic in excess. And there's so many different factors. I'm not gonna get into all of them in this video. We'll be talking for an hour um, of the reasons why in the modern world, especially amongst health conscious people who might be supplementing, eating fortified food, um, eating a lot of healthy foods full of carotenes, 
Um, yeah, there's a lot of reasons why. <sighs> Vitamin A excess is a greater danger in the modern world. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, vitamin A, getting it out of my diet has been extremely therapeutic. It's been extremely therapeutic for people on a carnivore diet. They all attribute these great results they're getting to vitamin, to uh, carbs being removed from their diet. But I feel very confident that it's actually vitamin A that's helping people get rid of their autoimmune issues. Anyway, long story short, I finally decided to have a cheat meal and I was like, man, I'm gonna go go nuts here and eat a lot of a lot of vitamin A. So I had hollandaise and I had poached eggs and I had cream spinach and I had a big glass of orange juice and I put hot sauce and tomatoes and all this stuff all over the food. And I probably got 10 to 12,000 I use in a single meal. And about two days later, I'm laying in bed to go to sleep. And I'm like, Jesus, it's bright in here. <laughs> is, is it always this bright? It's not a full moon. Why is it so bright in here? Well, I was able to see finally. And um, yeah, I'm still able to see six days later. So I'm curious to see how long this will last, but obviously I've got to eat some vitamin A. And I know that excess completely ruins me, but I also know that I can't eat none. I can't eat a little bit, eating a little bit every day seems to be more aggravating than eating a lot infrequently. So anyway, what I plan to do now is see how long it takes for my vision to go out again from, um, and see how long that one big vitamin A rich meal last me. And so that'll be interesting. Hopefully I'm just completely blind. Hopefully I'm completely blind in the dark by Thanksgiving so I can eat Thanksgiving. <laughs> but uh, it may last longer than that, we'll see. We're on day six now, night vision is still great. Um, I could really put it to the test by taking these things off and getting way more bright light in my eyes. I won't do that quite just yet. But yeah, I think a lot of people are trying to, uh, I saw a new animal experiment that's going on that someone's doing trying to prove that vitamin A is uh, not essential to try to overturn the results that, that basically discovered that vitamin A was an essential nutrient in uh, some like mouse studies a hundred years ago or something like that. So I, I'm a believer that it's a real nutrient. And um, yeah, I think that's good news. That's good news that we need to eat these vitamin A rich foods occasionally. Um, but I'm gonna try to figure out the right dose, the right frequency of eating vitamin A and see if I can figure out what exactly works for me to both keep me from having night, night blindness, but also keep me from having allergies, asthma, chronic fatigue, and a lot of the issues that I was having. Um, you know, prior to starting a vitamin A free diet or a low vitamin A diet, uh, seven, almost seven and a half years ago. So anyway, interesting stuff, but it's perfectly okay for vitamin A to be both a nutrient and a toxin, depending on quantity. I mean, that's okay. This, this shouldn't be heresy. And, uh, yeah, 3000 I use a day for somebody whose liver is already completely full is probably too much. A lot of people are having 10, 20, 30, 40,000 IUs a day, especially health fanatics. I mean, I used to drink like a quart of, of carrot juice at a time. Uh, that's got 180,000 IUs, guys. I used to just like go to Jamba Juice and, and, uh, and just guzzle one of those down, you know? Collar oil and liver and all the other kinds of things I was eating too. Um, all the quote, you know, healthy foods you know, usually are really, really high in carotenes and various types of carotenes and vitamin A. So anyway, that's the news. That's the scoop. I'll keep you posted on how that goes. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, vitamin A is a low vitamin A diet can be very therapeutic. 
I've proven that for myself without a shadow of a doubt, uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. And um, yeah, going too low for too long, yeah, it's got, it can have some downsides. The big question is why am I suffering from night blindness and, and apparent vitamin A deficiency symptoms when somebody like Grant isn't and a lot of these people following a, like a beef only diet aren't getting those symptoms. Um, I think, I'll, we'll assume that they're being honest about what they're eating, but I think that because their diet is so restricted and so limited and they're so public about eating so little that, you know, it may be a, me a metabolism, a metabolic rate difference, you know? Grant talks about eating like 1,500 calories a day. You know, I'm eating 4,000. So, you know, the metabolic rate difference between us is, is massive. So, yeah, he might be able to go two or three times longer than I can on a low vitamin A diet before he truly runs into these issues. Or maybe, maybe there's other factors that, you know, prevent people from having these issues. Like, the carnivore diet is notorious for having no vitamin C, right? And people don't have scurvy when they're on that type of diet. And um, nobody knows exactly why they're not getting scurvy. Nobody knows exactly why they're not getting, you know, night blindness and, and other issues associated with vitamin A deficiency, but certainly on the diet I'm on and the regimen that I follow, um, yeah, I'm having some night vision issues and uh, having a big vit vitamin A binge just cleared it right up. I mean, cleared it right up. And it was a very tasty meal. Shout out Lucille's, best breakfast place in the state of Colorado. Uh, yeah. Yeah, guzzled many, many, <laughs> many, many servings of holidays and uh, buttery biscuits and all kinds of good stuff on that epic vitamin A bench. It was fun. So anyway, I'll keep you posted. But uh, for now, I'm calling vitamin A certainly an essential nutrient. I don't think that's too controversial. Maybe there's like a hundred people who think that's uh, heresy. But um, yeah, you probably need some, and it's not hard to get, it's in everything. 